Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Sedona, and this is Jeff. Hi! Today, I'm going to be drawing Sino from Genshin Impact, part 4 of drawing Genshin Impact Sumeru characters. So without further ado, let's get started. begin i would like to say that finally you guys get to see the entire drawing process or my camera doesn't decide to cut it off or where i don't start it before the actual video um so finally you guys get to see the whole thing but just really quickly in this drawing i do not draw his weapon i ended up drawing that in the video where i draw paimon because paimon is so tiny i just decided to draw paimon and his weapon in the same video because no one else except for Lumine and all Haytham does not have his weapon either. Only Lumine has a weapon. So, um, anyway, so I just started with the guidelines and now I'm drawing his face. His face looks super wide right now, but it gets a lot better, in my opinion. Um, so with my guidelines, I just draw. A circle with a cross for the head with like a little triangle bit for the jawline and then you can see what I'm doing for his shoulders and his rib cage um, and so for some reason I like doing um, like a 3d type of thing when I draw the, the guidelines for the chest area like the rib cage area I don't know what to call it um, so that's what i did just so i can see like which way his body would be facing compared to his head now i'm just drawing his legs even though mostly in this drawing his legs don't show but and then i'm starting with his arm i have his arm and his hand now i'm doing the top of his head so that we can begin with his little mask hat thing that i'm not exactly sure what it is um but i'm just um, anyway, I'm just drawing his mask thing. I'm not exactly sure if it's supposed to be like a wolf. Sorry that I don't know that, but um, I'm not exactly sure what animal it's supposed to be. I'm thinking like a wolf or something, but I'm not exactly sure. That wouldn't really make sense in the desert. Um, but anyway, so he has a lot of details on his hat thing um he, every genshin character has a lot of details everywhere except for like npcs like catherine but catherine's catherine so everyone appreciates her um anyway now i am just drawing his hair um he only has a little bit that com that is coming from his hat like on the front in front of his face but he has more coming from like the back because he has relatively long hair. Um, so I'm just really quickly sketching that out. And only one of his eyes was showing, so it was pretty easy to draw like his face and stuff. But anyway, now I'm finally drawing um, his neck and different um, accessories and details that he has around that area. Um, I was just drawing little... A little bit of hair that's poking out from over his shoulder and then I am now so now I am just drawing this little like ribbon type piece at least that's what it reminds me of um, coming from his hat mask thingy not sure what to call it still comment down below if you know what it's called and if you know what animal it is because I am curious um, but anyway, so I was just drawing that, and then now I'm just drawing little details that are on it. Um, not super important. There's just, like, different, like, lines and things that are on it. Yeah, so anyway, he has just a little bit of details that are up there on the little thing. I'm not sure what to call it. Not sure what to call most of the things on most Genshin characters. Except for obvious things like dresses, shirts, pants, shorts shoes things like that um but now i'm just drawing his arm and he's got like a little like sleeve type thing on his arm 
that um, makes it so that his wrist doesn't go in a ton. It goes more like out. Um, I thought this was weird as I was drawing it, but I added it because obviously it's supposed to be like a, like, not exactly sure, some sort of, I don't know, to be honest. Um, but so now I'm just drawing his hand, the part that's going to be going around his pole arm. Um, that again, I'm not drawing in this video. Um, then I just draw like a little bit of it just so that I can get a sense, an idea of where it's going to end up being. Um, so I could draw it coming in and out of his hand. Not super exciting, but now I am working on d the different parts that like go over his chest um in that area um he's got like a little like thing that goes around his neck that is um obviously like in Subaru with Candace and Sino they're all very they look very Egyptian in my personal opinion I think that that's what they were trying to go for the Hoyaverse was trying to go for with that because when I showed him to my sister she was like he looks Egyptian I was like I think that's what they were going for um but anyway I am just now drawing different parts that go over his chest um not sure what to call any of it so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about it but yeah now I am just drawing his his like his actual body now I'm not just like a stick figure version of him so I add little details that are by his neck and shoulders and then I'm going down drawing his rib cage and his waist area. Um, I wanted it to do, go, be going like in the flow of the direction that his body is facing so there were more curves than there usually would be and now I'm just drawing his waistband. Um, it does fall into like a, it reminds me personally of a skirt even though that's not what it is, but that's what it reminds me of, so that's how I'm going to explain it. Um, but yeah, it has different, like, little details that are on it, like, different little emblems and details and things like that. Um, so I'm just trying my best to, like, recreate that, even though I could never do Genshin art any justice. But... I tried my hardest, so that matters. Um, he has lots of details just around this area, like his little skirt thing. Um, so it took me, the majority of the time that it took me to draw him was drawing different details on his either mask hat thing or his little skirt thing. Sorry that I have no idea what these things are called. Um, but anyway, so now I am just continuing with that, and it does take me a little bit to draw all that type of stuff, and it does cover Skara's clothes quite a bit. Nahida and Skara are covered. Mostly Nahida is by El Haytham, but you guys will see that in the end. Um, but now I'm just drawing with the different, starting with the different layers of his, I, 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 I'm still not sure what to call it, skirt thing um it has lots of different little details little layers i mean um um and it is flowing out quite a bit because the way he is standing in this picture his legs are spread kind of like in like a fighting stance so um his skirt thing is following in the direction of his legs obviously because that's how clothing works um, but now I'm just blocking out where his leg would be if it were there, even though it's not going to be showing because it's not going to end up being there at all. But I'm just drawing it so that I know where his body might be coming out of and, like, where his legs will be. Um, then I am just adding in more details, more layers to the skirt. Um, um, and he has, like, a little, he has two little sidearies that go, like, around and then he has the little front area that's coming out of the little thing in the middle. I'm super great at explaining this. Um, I'm not exactly sure what to call any of it. So I'm just trying my best to accurately depict that, even though it's not 
like Sino very much, but I feel like you could tell who it is. So that was my main goal. Um, anyway, I am just continuing with all that. So he has three little layers on his skirt thing that or on like little side pieces. Um, so I'm just adding those and for some reason when I draw I like to shade things that would be darker and where shadows would be so that's what I do all the time for some reason when I am drawing I just shade things um I have said this many times in my videos but I don't know why I do it um but anyway and now I am just shading obviously because I don't draw as fast as my pencil was moving just then um, and then I am drawing his face, which was super easy because it was just nose, mouth, and one eye because the other eye is hidden. Um, so yeah, that was super easy. Most of the eyes in this drawing were easy, except for I had a lot of trouble with Alhatham because I'm not very good at side profiles. That's something that I need to work on. Um, now I am just drawing another little ribbon type thing coming out of his mask hat thing that i'm still not sure what to call it um but anyway so yeah he has quite a few details that are coming up from like his head area his chest area and where like his like waistband will be with different things coming out of that too so i was just trying my hardest to try and make it look like sino because there are so many different details but i think that i did okay and i'm somewhat happy with how this drawing turned out um, All Hatham wasn't my favorite, but it took me so many tries to try and get him. I had to end up stopping the camera so that I could just get it closer to me so that I could actually try and draw him because he was super difficult. Anyway, now I am continuing drawing details on his little hat mask thingy that I'm not sure what to call it. I've probably said that so many times now. Um, anyway, there are lots of different details, including his- the big ears that are coming out of it. Um, so, and at first when I was drawing it, because where my guidelines are, I thought that there were going to be three more characters, or four more characters, including Paimon, but it turns out that I only draw two more characters, three, including Paimon, um, so I thought that his ears would be covering Lumine, but it turns out that they were not, because they didn't have enough room to draw so many characters, um, so I was trying to, like, alter the way his ears were facing and turning so that I could, um, have room for everyone, but I end up just ditching that and just drawing them how they would be, and because I end up drawing Lumine in a different spot with Paimon, um, so anyway, there are just, there are lots of details that I had to add and draw, plus more little parts that were coming out sticking out farther getting closer to candace and nahida um but i managed to get it done um now i am just drawing his eye um i just have like the lash line outlined right now um but it was super easy to draw this as i've said um a few times before because um, there was only one eye, um, to draw, so I didn't have to try and get them, like, somewhat symmetrical, or I, at least looking related. They didn't have to look like twins, but related would be okay. But anyway, it only took me one try to do his eye, because I was actually somewhat happy with how it turned out, because there was only one, it was really easy. Then I just added a furrowed brow. And then that was that. I did change the shape of, like, the hat mask thing a little bit. Um, but not drastically. So then I'm just adding different details and things and different, like, markings that he has on the, like, main face of it. Um, and s then after I draw that, I um, draw the other ear. But there are lots of different... And these are going to be gold, which I'm super excited to draw all of the gold because um, I have a gold Copic marker, Y28, called Liquid Gold. And it looks like actual gold, not like a yellowy orange color, but it looks 
like gold anyway we are nearing the end so thank you guys so much for watching please like comment share subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications again thank you guys so much for watching me drawing sino from genshin impact part four of drawing genshin impact sumo characters stay tuned for part five that will be next saturday and i will see you all next time thank you so much and goodbye